Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and we are Friday, April 19th, 2019. So how is it going in the test phase for Windows 10? Of course, that's something that we could ask ourselves. Now they've uh, been testing it for a couple of weeks in the uh, release preview. What are What is the outcome? Are things going well? Well, it does seem like it's being tested well. It does seem that it's going the right direction uh, for a simple reason. Uh, yesterday, Microsoft issued a few little things that are, is another hint at how things are going actually quite well. The first one is the developer kit that was actually released yesterday for Windows 10 version 19.03. And that is, of course, for uh, any developer to have... Uh, apps in the uh, Microsoft Store. So this is the first uh, first sign that things are going pretty well. And um, there's another thing also um, that's happening with uh, this is that the MSDN TechNet, uh, which is um, for the uh, tech community that is of course subscribing to uh, MSDN, uh, Microsoft, uh, are now capable of downloading the images, the ISO of 1903, or version of May 2019 update. So this is uh, pretty, pretty nice, as we are, of course, uh, moving forward in the test phase. We also learned that, uh, for example, Intel has um, updated and released its latest drivers that are compatible with the May 2019 update. So all of this is actually telling us that we're going in the right direction and that the May 29 update is going to be released in May. Uh, and it seems to be testing out quite well and going quite well, which is very nice and very important when you think about the fiasco of 2018 updates. And like I said, you know, uh, anybody that was wondering which version they should actually get. I think that the May 2019 update would be a good start uh, update here, even though you're not going to be pushed. Um, like I was saying, when this actually appears in May, you'll have it as a separate download and install. So you won't have to install it if you don't wish to install it right away. You can wait, but, um, and you know, of course, you can wait when the deployment goes and see how many people or if people are having problems or not. So that's of course something good to check out. But um, I think this would be a good start and from here you could have, you know, 18 months uh, that you could wait before you actually install uh, the latest version. Uh, a few of you have asked, uh, well, in 18 months, is it, um, you know, what is it we're gonna get? Um, exactly, and usually what that means is that when you get to the 18 months time, you'll get the latest version of the feature update that exists at the time that your Windows 10 expires. So um, if it's May 2019, that's what you'll get, but if there's a, a newer version, uh, maybe for you know 19H2 this fall or, or 20H1 next year, you'll get the latest that is available at the moment that your Windows 10 actually expires. So the test phase is, uh, seems to be going well. And of course, we'll update um, the situation. Uh, still looking at a May 2019 release sometime in May, uh, maybe around the patch Tuesday of May 2019. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.